We begin with a story that's new here at 11. Portland police are seeing a dramatic increase in one very specific crime. Thieves are going after catalytic converters in cars. Our Mike Benner found out why and talked to the man who helped catch two of the suspects. Uh, we probably have about 50, 50, 60 cars. Michael Aldrich opened Alpine Motors at 64th and Sandy about four months ago. He'll be the first to tell you it hasn't been easy. Since we've been here, uh, we've had uh, a couple cars broken into, one stolen, a uh, bunch of uh, catalytic converters stolen. And one almost stolen. Look here. Surveillance video shows the suspects pulling up at the used car lot early Sunday morning and getting to work. But they're eventually spooked by the car alarm and take off before getting the catalytic converter. This is how we, we provide for our families and, and you know put food on the table. A frustrated Aldrich saw what was happening in real time through an app on his phone. So he booked it over to his lot. He saw the suspect vehicle and chased after it. They were running uh, some red lights and, and there's, a, there's a police officer sitting on 82nd and Prescott down a little bit on 82nd and he sees us. And at that point, that's when uh, the cops pulled him over and stopped him. Officers arrested Andrew Oten and Donald Newcomb III. Inside their car, we're told, were tools, a car jack, and a stolen catalytic converter. It's really no surprise this happened. According to police, there's been a dramatic increase in the number of catalytic converter thefts, more than 120 since June of last year. The thieves are after valuable metals such as palladium. It's like $1,400 an ounce. Kill Pelton works at Atomic Auto, an auto body shop that specializes in hybrids. He says over the course of the last few months, he's seen a lot of Priuses with stolen catalytic converters. He's now installing these large aluminum plates to protect the sought after car part. It at least hinder somebody. Give them a second thought about going because it won't be an easy steal on this one. These were actually on the ground. There was no aluminum plate on the bottom of this SUV at Alpine Motors. The bad guys just ran out of time. A relief from Michael Aldrich. We would be out, you know, uh, thousands of dollars. You know, we have to fix the car. We have to put new parts on it. All right, police say this is an underreported crime. They're asking you to be a good witness. If you see someone working on a car on the street late at night or if you hear the sounds of sawing, call 911 and report it.